Hello, folks. Welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a Thursday morning, and I know I said I was going to take a little bit of a break, but it's hard to do that because there's just so much stuff to talk about, and so many of you great people on my channel, um, you know, commenting in videos and stuff, and uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to Lonel and Nate and Michelle Sonia and Corinthians. And I mean, you know, you guys like, you guys are like family to me. You know what I mean? I mean, you really literally are because you're family anyways, because you're, uh, you're created from the same creator. So <laughs> that makes me love and care, care about you even more, you know, but Anyways, I, I thought I'd do this. Uh, I woke up and I read some of the comments and I responded to all of you in there. And um, it's unbelievable. Like, <clears throat> people, <laughs> I'm not going to mention the person's name, but, oh, I'm, I'm greedy. I'm greedy, right? I'm greedy. Really? Uh, I, I thought I was an independent contractor. I thought I was able to make money that I want to make. I mean, if you want to go out, like say yourself, you listening to this, you say, oh, you know, I want to go out and make $500 today. Why can't you make 500? What's, what's the problem, right? You should be able to. Um, I know people who are in construction and architecture and all these other things, and they make 500 bucks in a day, if, if not more. Um, we're in a business folks that throttles us down on all platforms and this this these emails i'm going to read you to you okay are going to prove that now you may think i'm talking about just doordash i'm not i'm talking about deliver that because i'm doing another video uh, just a short one here because i wanted to read you some of the emails that i that i get and one of them in here was very tempting this morning because I'm looking at it going, you know, 115 they send me $115, uh, you know, order, basically, if you, if you come in, you know, I had to drive to Boston 40 miles, and then I, have to, then I would have to pick up the order. Now, I did one for Deliver That last week, uh, and, I, and it was $83, but after tax, I mean, after driving and paying the gas, what do I have out of it? right? Sit less than 60. Okay. Now let me read. Uh, well, first of all, let me just sit back up and say, you know, like it's insane. Like people I'm working my ass off to do, to work and then do these videos for you guys. And I know 99% of you appreciate it. And I'm so grateful for you again. I hate to keep mentioning this, but I don't make any money from doing these videos, folks. My reasoning out here is not like any other person that does channels. Most channels know they can monetize and they can bring in super chat money when they go live and they can make money with, you know, all different kinds of ways. And I do not have this channel monetized. I can't even monetize anyways until it would hit a thousand subs. But I told you before, I'm not going to be doing that. So my motives are totally different than everyone else. I'm literally doing this because I care about the community. I'm not looking for a penny out of it. Although I want to see the companies pay us better so I can make a, a better living than what I'm doing now, right? <clears throat> and I'm always looking for other jobs too and other types of gig hustles and different things. It's not that I'm just sitting on my ass waiting for them to... S Listen, each of us out here, we all deserve to make a good days salary folks in a good week's salary okay and if you can't make a good salary and you can't pay your rent and your bills and all these other things yeah you should be looking at maybe something else but on the other hand these companies are abusing us they're abusing the the drivers they're abusing their their power that they think that they have because they think they have a right to go into people's money and steal it and do all of these evil things like th there has to be a check here someone che you know checking up on this stuff and doing something about it and if i was the one that had to start the fire because i'm telling you all these channels out here folks none of them none of them do uh a, a better job than me as far as exposing stuff that's going on you may hear my kitty cat in the background my uh my bye-bye he's a good cat i 
I lost my cat a couple of weeks ago and then two year, a year and a half ago, I lost another one. So I am down to one cat He's he's all I got, you know, anyways, he's saying hi to you. But, um, you know, the thing is folks like, where are the other channels? I mean, there, there are some, I mean, we all know who they are, but like, where, where are the major majority of the channels? They're all afraid to talk about what's going on. They're afraid to go say, you know something I'm going to make, I'm going to go after these companies. Let's, let's form a, an alliance. You know, imagine if like, and I, I'm not even going to mention the channels because there's these channels that you think I'm mentioning. There's so many other ones. It's not just the big ones that you think. But how come they're not saying anything about what's really going on? Oh, they may they may gloss over it a little bit and mention it, you know, slightly. But then it's like, oh, back to making money. Hey, how, today I'm going to show you how to make two hundred and fifty dollars. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy when we can't even make. You know, the last time I made 200 bucks, folks, I can't even remember, but it's, it's months. It's well over six months, probably eight months and close to a year that I've even made 200 bucks. Like for me to make 200 would be like making a thousand. And I hate the 200 rule that like, oh, we got to make 200. How about making three and $400 a day? Aren't you worth that? I mean, folks, we are, we really are slaves in a way, because if you're getting up at say six in the morning and going out and then work until six, seven, eight, nine o'clock at night, like my friend Walter is now he's making the money because he's doing top. He's has to be doing top Tasha. He's a Brazilian guy and I have to have another conversation with him. And I also want to check out his, um, his, uh, ratings so I can see, because I'll know right away if he's anything over even 50%, then he's definitely top dasher, but 70% is what they want. <clears throat> there's a 50% tear and there's a 70%. And I, and I'm going off on a tangent here, but like, I see these comments where people say I'm, I'm lazy. I'm not doing something, whatever. Are you kidding me? I have every right to make the money that I want to make. All right. I'm not going to take and settle for something. I'm not settling anything. Cause then, then you're giving rise to these companies to be able to say, Oh, we could just do anything we want to do to these people. Are you kidding me? My channel exists so we can reverse this crap. Okay. And if some of you out here, or, and I don't, I'm not attacking you guys and gals because, but if some of you grew some balls and said, you know what, why are we waiting for DoorDash sucks to go and do this stuff? Why don't we, why don't we do it? Why don't I do it? Because let me tell you something, folks, very soon, very soon, I am suing DoorDash in court. I'm going to take them to small claims, but at the same time, I'm going to fo um, file a, a claim with the attorney general of this state, okay? And I'm going to be trying to contact a few channels that have good lawyers and stuff like that. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to try to do it on a contingency or how they, like a lawyer will, <clears throat> if they know they can get a class action going, They'll take the case and then they get paid off when, when they, when the case is won. So no money has to be really put up front except for the small claims one, because I got to put up like, I think two or 300 bucks and I'm going to represent myself in court folks. I'm not going to wait for lawyers to, to represent me as long as I can show the proof. Now, if I lose in the first round of it, I'll appeal it. Then I'll hire a lawyer because I'm going to come to with them with ammunition all of these companies, when I say all of them, I mean, I can't, I can't pers personally myself sue every single company, but we, as a whole, as a part of in a community, we can, but uh, going after the major ones like Uber, Do uh, DoorDash, um, even deliver that, deliver that pisses me off in the way that they can just gallivant in here and just, oh, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to take, do a tip pool. Are you kidding me? Do you know that breeds corruption right there? I mean, like, oh yeah, come on in and just, just buy and order everything through us. And then they can d d take whatever money they want out of that tip pool. It, it, there's just too much temptation there for any one human to be able to have. There's no, that's why they never responded back. That's why they never wrote back in, in, in the video the second, well, especially the second one I did, they wrote in the first one, 
And they would give me a generic answer like, oh, we wouldn't do that. Okay, so anyways, let me, I know I'm all over the place, but let me read this to you. It says, uh, good morning. We have a, this is like, this is, I'm going to just read some of these that I got in the past week. I, I had a whole bunch more, but I <clears throat> deleted the first batch of them like a, like a couple of weeks ago. But good morning. We have a double Tate bakery coming out of Cambridge on Main Street at 11 a.m., dropping off in Newton on Park Ave at 12. Both orders total just under $600 worth of food, paying out $67, okay? And we're going to get into what I'm going to getting at here in a minute. It says, please reach out and let us know if you're interested. Thank you. Here's the 14th, the 14th of September. Pardon me. Good morning. We have a double Tate bakery coming out of Cambridge, blah, 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 11 a.m. We have $400 worth, right? That So when they say double order, it's probably one for 150 and the rest, or maybe 200 and the other one's 200, right? Then it says, uh, <clears throat> we'll pay you out $80, right? Now that looks good, kind of, doesn't it? It's like, oh, $80 and I only have to do two orders. But you got to remember, you got to go, you got to drive into downtown whatever boston or wherever your city is because i think most of them just do it basically in the city i mean i'm sure they'll expand at some point but <clears throat> okay so you're like oh 80 dollars that's great until you realize you got to drive 40 miles up 40 miles back and then what do you have in your pocket after right so here's another one <clears throat> good morning we have a double from Tate Bakery, because see, the reason they're sending me these, these Tate Bakeries, right, which is sort of like, um, I can't remember, it's like a French bakery or whatever, but they, they do a lot of things. The reason they're sending me these is because I've already done one. So they figure, well, he did one or, you know, a double order one time, maybe he'll do another one. And, you know, they're tempting, they are. Okay, now look at this one. Uh... It's going to international place in Boston. Six hundred dollars is it's eighty dollars. Okay, now here's the one that that my eyebrow went up a little bit. Uh, Tate Bakery again, picking up in Main Street. Blah blah blah. Grand Union Boulevard. Both orders together make up seven hundred dollars worth of food. It's paying out a hundred and fifteen dollars. Okay, please reach out to us and let us know if you're interested. Now, the first time I did the. Uh, the deliver that i wrote back in this email saying yes i'm interested and immediately i got a thing coming back oh okay we're gonna add you in and you're all set to go so they there's a dispatcher that listens to these calls <clears throat> or whatever or knows that what whether you want it or not but they send this out as a general email or text to all the drivers to see which ones are going to take it or not this came this morning and I'm thinking to myself, 115 bucks. Probably I can get away with the $20 in gas that'll cost me, and I can make $95 on this. And on its face, it's 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 kind of great, isn't it? Like, but it's going to take me an hour of drive. It's going to take well 40 40 minutes in, 40 minutes back, and I'd be back in time for uh, for 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 dinner, right? So you might say, well, there's your there's basically your hundred dollars for lunch. Right, and it's cool, but here's the problem, folks. <clears throat> How do I know that the person that ordered this food didn't put in twenty percent of the seven hundred? What's twenty percent of seven hundred bucks? It's a hundred. Is it a hundred and seventy or a hundred and fifty? Whatever it is, I'm not very good at math. Thinking it off the bat, I'd have to do it on paper. The point of it is. <clears throat> Why is the driver not allowed to keep the the 150 or whatever? Or what if the guy put in 30 bucks? I mean 30 percent and said, "Here, I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you a 300 dollar tip because I like you." Why can't I have that? Why does it deliver that have to intercept that? And, and they shouldn't even. And, and this is gonna come into a, a comment that I read from one of my subscribers. I'm gonna read that to you in a second. But the point of it is, folks. These companies have way too much control with their, the customer's money and our money. How about on Uber when you're when you want to cash out, right? Okay, you and say you need money for the day. You need to buy gas, so you cash out. You you do like thirty dollars if you, even if you can get that. Do you know I got I got one order yesterday, folks, for ten dollars. 
I declined 99.9% of the Uber uh, things that came in my way. You think after a while, their algorithm would say, geez, he's not going for these long distance ones. So let me, let me give him some short ones that are decent. Yeah, a few short ones came in, but they were terrible. And I declined all of them except one. It was a $10.50 one going five miles. And I wasn't even going to do that. I just, I says, well, I'll try it. So, um, it's terrible. So, and then, you know, I guess partially my standards are are a little bit high, but that's because I've been doing this for a long time. I should be able to make, I mean, minimum, minimum 200 bucks a day, if not more. I deserve that. Don't you deserve that folks? And then people got to write in the comment, like I'm greedy. Really? Do you like living? Do you like working as a slave, Tom? And I'm, you know who you are. You like working as a slave? Go ahead. And what are you doing to help the community? Have you taken them to court? Have you, uh, are you starting a channel telling people about how terrible all these companies are? I'm not going to just go away and fade away, folks. I'm here to stay for the long haul. I'm here to help you. Okay. And you, I mean, I'm not. I'm very humble, folks, but you should be grateful that there's someone like me that will stand up in in the gap, stand in the gap for you, because God is standing in the gap for you, right? Every day, he stands in the gap for a lot of people. They don't even realize how many miracles that that have been brought to their lives, (laughs) but uh, someone's got to do it. You can't let these companies just do what they want to do. Even though we know there's all doom and gloom coming and everything else, we still got to fight. So that's what my channel exists for, all right? <clears throat> Anyways, let me read uh, one of my wonderful subscribers, Nate Javel. here. Uh, love what he wrote. Thank you so much, Nate. You're awesome. I mean, all of you. Uh, I just love the ones that get it and they know what's really going on. So let me read this to you. So Nate says here, he says, he's referring to, the deliver that video that I did yesterday. And he says the tip pool shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't really be a thing in the first place. These companies are very greedy with our money. They shouldn't have control with the money we receive from the customers. I don't want their dirty hands touching people's money received from customers. It's very shady. Now listen to this. This is the, this is the one that, that struck me really good like because i realized that he says can you imagine tipping a waiter or waitress and the owner of the restaurant just comes and grabs it away from the waiter or waitress an hour later passes and and hands back half the amount of the tip it's ridiculous but i wouldn't really hold my breath for them to respond and show proof that they don't mess with anyone's tip earnings they're all the same corrupt companies and CEOs. And you know, Nate, you're a hundred thousand percent right. I mean, he couldn't have said it any better. Imagine that, like a, a waiter or waitress, right? And, and you're they're being served and you you hand the waitress say say a hundred and fifty dollar tip because you you might have had a, a family and you spent three, four hundred bucks, but you you had some money to spend, so you give them hundred and fifty and the way and the manager comes over or the owner says, Oh, give me that. And then he comes back later on and gives the person $50 out of it. That's exactly what these companies are doing. I mean, well, deliver that. The catering companies, they want to make everyone feel better. Like, oh, see, you're making more money than you could with DoorDash because I'm I'm giving you an $80 order. But they don't understand that the, the person, I know for a fact, folks, that these companies, some of these companies, they... They tip 20% of what the bill is. They don't just throw 5 and $10 in there, folks. Okay? Some of these orders, are you could be making two, $300 a, a whack if you were allowed to keep the, the tip. But, the, but Deliver That's coming in and saying, no, we're going to take that. And we're going to put it in a tip pool. Oh, but we trust you. Us drivers, we, we trust that. You can't trust any of these people. They're all liars. We're in such a time, folks, that money has become everyone's God. It's like, it's insane, folks. You you can't, you can't trust them. So um, I wanted to just finish off the video by saying, um, you know, uh, 
we, there's going to be have to be more investigation done on these companies. And if any of you end up doing deliver that or anyone new comes to this channel and you can give me some information or even if we could get an inside whistleblower to tell us what's going on but no matter what we got to just bring them to court and we have you can bring anyone to court you know for any reason <laughs> you know it's not that things can get thrown out of court too but if you suspect something but you know they always want to say well where's your proof that they're doing this well we want to see transparency if it <laughs> You know, if you can't, if they, these companies can't show the transparency, then you know they have something to hide. It's just amazing that there's no oversight, there's no regulations. Because, the, see, the problem is, folks, the government has gone amok. They've gone the way of the devil. They could care less. All of these people who are in these corporations, they're friends with these politicians. That's why they, they, they get to get away with all this stuff, <clears throat> this stuff, but we still have to fight against it, folks. You can't just throw your hands in the air and say, oh, I'm, what can I do? I'm, I just need, you know, bury my head in the sand, go out and drive like blindly and say, well, I'm going to hope for the best today. I'm, aren't you getting sick of driving for like pe peanuts, folks? Are you not sick of that? I mean, <laughs> at least, at the very least, change your situation you may be saying the same thing with me like well, well how come you're not going to a regular job well i have lots of reasons for that and i've mentioned them in previous videos i have to keep a, one foot in the door on these apps and another foot somewhere else if i can do it until i find something that's good to go to i can't do it uh, but I, I can't just jump totally out of the app thing because then how am I going to judge and gauge everything that's going on? I, I need to be active in the community myself, right? So it makes no sense for me to leave it. That's the reason I don't. And there's other reasons too. But it's like I really care about you guys. Like I, like I really adamantly have a strong feeling of trying to help all of you because I, I, I want to see you get a fair shake. I want you, you guys and gals to make a good wage. If you guys could say, hey, I'm making 300 bucks a day now and I'm only working eight hours a day, I'd be, I'd be happy. But that doesn't mean that the companies have stopped their shenanigans. That means that, you know, okay, you're making a little bit more. But look at the inflation, folks. I went, listen, I'm going to just end the video with this one. I went into a supermarket the other day or it was actually it was last night and i went over to the meat section because i wanted to get a piece of steak i wanted to bring some steak home and uh, have a steak and salad before i went to bed because i haven't really treated myself in a while i've been eating just junk junk food and i normally don't but when you're on the go you end up eating stuff you really don't want to eat because you you don't want to you can't go and get a really nice meal and sit down because you're working so you're like oh let me just grab this right so I went to get the the meat, and I go in the meat section, and there was a couple of sections that had like you know seven dollar steaks or whatever. But you know, they were you know the first cut steaks, whatever. Then you, then I went over to the area that has what's called steak tips. You know that like the you can chop them up into into bits. You know into little uh, like they call them steak tips, right? You probably had them before, right? I looked at the I looked at the uh, price and I just I couldn't believe what I saw. It had and this was a regular package. This is probably like a pound and a half, two pound thing of of steak tips. Seventy five dollars. It said unit price, and then it said you pay. In other words, you pay this sixty four dollars and like seventy four cents or something or eighty nine cents. Sixty four dollars for something that I paid. A quarter of that before, and even twenty dollars is a lot of money. But sixty-four dollars—who the hell is gonna uh, gonna um, pay? You know, afford that? That's something you'd expect to pay in a restaurant. And now, now uh, supermarkets are uh, equaling what a restaurant is doing. I mean, you might as well go out and eat in a restaurant if you're going to spend sixty dollars. It's crazy. That's just one example. I could sit here all night and tell you how bad it is. Don't you guys go to the store? You must see how bad it is. As inflation rises, your 
your money decreases, folks. So you could say, well, I made $200 today, and it was in my pocket after gas. Okay, so you made, what, $250? You have $200 in your pocket? But do you really? Go out and try to buy a few things at the store and see how much money it's going to add up to. You're going to easily spend $60, $70, $80 to grab a few things. You, You know what I mean? So is your money really worth it? With that said, folks, I just wanted to put this video out because I saw Nate's um, you know, comment, and there's so many of you. I and I and like I said, I respond to all of you. If you know, as the channel grows, it's it's going to be hotter. But <clears throat> to be honest, I don't even think my channel is going to grow because I'm just I'm grateful for all of you that are on here. Because at least you know what's really going on. And you care about the community. Most of you do. You know, even if you do never do anything, like physically, like courts and all that stuff, at least you do care and you do want to see a fair shake. I mean, why I mean, why are you watching my channel if you don't? You, you're watching it because you know I'm telling you the truth. I have nothing to lose out here, folks. <laughs> I have everything to gain. God is on my side. Right? I love God. God's the reason I'm doing this channel, folks. He, it really is. If it wasn't for the Holy Spirit calling me up to do these things, I would never be doing it. Because I was afraid. I was scared before, like, to do things. I'm not anymore. You need to grow a set of balls, folks, and cojones, or whatever you want to call them. I'm sorry I'm using that terminology, but that's the way that I that I see it. Um at least be active in the community, motivate people, don't bring people down with, you know, with negative comments, because it's just, like, it's it's defeating a purpose, it's defeating a purpose, and I, and I have to make sure that I don't do that either, because sometimes I get upset, you know, and I'm only human, folks, but I love each and every one of you, anyways, gonna let you go, appreciate you listening to today's video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys and gals. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.